I once had a cat who liked to sit in my hat. Spend a few minutes with Susan Vickberg and you'll find her joy infectious. Kitty bears are very comforting. An artist and a poet, Susan keeps busy. But this path right now wasn't by choice. Susan has multiple sclerosis. She was doing okay until one day in 2021. I collapsed. My life was saved by EMS and uh, emergency. My doctors put me on permanent medical leave, so my job was gone. My plans for retirement, uh, they literally disappeared because I now needed care. It meant she couldn't live at her apartment. I'm a widow. I'm an orphan. I don't have children. I had no one to turn to except the uh, the system. Thanks to a social worker, Susan was connected with a cluster care unit in Leslieville. Once I settled in, I got to talk to my cluster mates and that was a really positive experience. We were able to commiserate about our problems and it was sort of a big pat on the back um, saying you're going to be okay. Retrofitted in this housing building, there are 9 to 11 people in a cluster and there are multiple clusters. Independence is key. Everyone has their own room and washroom. There are shared kitchens, dining rooms, and living areas, but staff take care of the meals. PSWs are on duty 24-7 to help with medications, bathing, and laundry if needed. One of the unique elements of this program is that what residents pay is geared toward their income. Officials with Woodgreen also say there are broader financial benefits. The cost per client per day we've calculated to be $99 in comparison to a client being in a hospital bed per day would be about 730 or more. We know that average cost to be about just over 200 in long-term care. Wood Green Community Services spokesperson Eric Mariglia says cluster care is a bridge between fully independent living and long-term care. He says they get provincial funding, but they don't get enough to expand the program to more people. We know that uh, if people don't have this option, they're either going to end up in the hospital or be left with nowhere to go as they wait for their chance to get into long-term care. This is the way of the future. Ontario NDP health critic Franz Jelena says the Ontario government should invest more in these types of units versus private long-term care homes. We asked Health Minister Sylvia Jones's office about this, but a response wasn't received by our broadcast deadline. Listen to community groups that have solutions that people actually want, that cost less money, and that provides better care. This is a win-win-win. Meanwhile, Susan hopes decision makers take this to heart. There should be more of this type of solution for people who are in a situation that I'm in, not ready for long-term care. I think it's a cost-effective. Um, it's also emotionally very healthy because there is no fear any longer in me about what's going to, to happen. I know that I am taken care of. In Toronto, Nick West, All City News.